All right, so I actually just was driving by and found this little nightstand. What is up, Dumpster Dolls? I am Amir, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super stoked to have one channel where all of my dumpster dives and DIYs will live because that is a passion of mine, it's just flipping stuff. Those of you who have known me for a long time know that I used to do this way back when, and I was really happy when I did it, so I'm gonna start it again. On this channel, we'll do all things dumpster dives, DIY, and really anything about turning trash into treasure, whether that means going to Goodwill and getting clothes and making it into something cute, or pallet projects, or finding old furniture in an alley and flipping it. Whatever it means, it's gonna happen here. So you guys wanna help a young, young YouTuber out, give me a like or press the subscribe button. That would be very appreciated. I'm just gonna take a little prowl and see if I can find anything in the alleys worth DIYing. So, let's do it. the night before trash day. There are like some good things that people are dumping. All right, so I was driving and just found this nightstand. I actually think this might be a good contender. If we clean it out really good. Shabby it up. Yeah. So my plan of action today, we're gonna do a coat, maybe two coats of the white chalk paint. And then um, I'm gonna go over it in the blue, stencil it and put the pattern in blue. I might do a little hand painting, like even on the sides. We'll see, just gonna kind of wing it and see where my creativity takes us. And then I'm going to re-sand all the edges and distress it so it almost looks like an old like Indian or like bohemian piece of furniture. And then I'm gonna top it with the dark brown wax to give it like this brown, off-white, old, distressed vintage look. It's a plan in my head, we'll see if that happens, but um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got some stencils. They unfortunately didn't have the Indian inlay stencils that I was hoping they would, but they had these little kind of boho-ish ones by Show Offs. I'm so bad with decisions, but I decided to do this um, chalky white color, or I guess it's whatever color that is, lace the pattern in. I'm gonna finish it with a wax so that it gives it that old antique vibe. A blending brush, but a stencil brush. Yay! Perfect. Alright guys, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to paint the top of this. Um, my original plan was I was going to do like, I know I want this piece in the center, but if I only do this piece in the center and these on the outside, I feel like it's going to leave a little bit too much space. So remember I have this one too, so what I'm thinking, that first row and just kind of go along the edge so I can make like a border. And then once I do the border, then I'll do this on the inside of the border, if that makes sense. This is called the Pounce. I couldn't really figure out where to start and stop. That looks... That looks okay. Yeah, I want it to be more of like a border. So I might just go in with the white paint and like make it a border right here. I just had a major Britney Spears moment and literally just took scissors to my hair 
and chopped it off. You could definitely do this project in one day, but um, it would take some time in one day. For me, I like to like work on something and then kind of like sleep on it and come back to it. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with today. It's nice to see it in this light too because you can see how white it is. Last night it was getting a little dark so it's hard to tell colors. I'm actually like surprised that I like this edge so much and I think it'll look really nice once it's distressed. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do the remainder of the edges. We're gonna paint the drawers. Also bought paint brushes so that I can just hand paint. Probably gonna do some sort of like Indian flower design on the edges and then we're gonna distress it and then we're gonna wax it and then we're gonna call it a day. Remember that we want it to look really old, so if there's like a piece where like the paint's missing, like that's fine, or if it overlaps, or it doesn't really like blend well, like that's totally okay. Like that's the beauty of these types of projects is imperfection is like perfect. Imperfection is perfect. So this is where we're at right now. It sucks that my paintbrushes are so big I like couldn't do anything detailed. And now I just really need to fill in some of the same holes on the top here, you know, like add some detail. We're just gonna fill in some of these kind of weird spaces. Give it a little something something. Sucks. My paintbrush is so big there's not much that I can do. I feel like I love anything creative because it just just gets you out of your head, you know? Like if you're going through something really bad or, you know, you're just having a hard time, like plug into like a creative project like this. And it just like really helps you get you out of your head. Um, and I actually feel like I'm closer to like my authentic self than I've been in a long time. Like I don't, it's been a long, long time since I've drawn or painted and they've been bringing me so much peace. And then the cool thing about like furniture projects is like you get to work on something like this and then you get to put it in the house and like be proud of it too, you know? Proud that you were able to transform something and put your art into it. Alright, here is the progress. I want to start trying to distress it and like bring all this wood forward. So I think I'm ready to start distressing and, and start making it look like an old piece of furniture. started to distress it and it looks really really good um, it's even like kind of bringing back the yellow underneath um, remember it had that really really yellowish yellow tint of paint because it was old and, and it's starting to kind of come through so it's giving it like a super antique look um, the little sandpaper that I got from Hobby Lobby was so crappy so I went and got the real stuff any place that you see there's real wood under I'm gonna go back in and just Bring it on out. All right, ladies, one last little step here and that is I'm just gonna put a layer of wax. I got like a dark chocolate wax I'm gonna put on 
to hopefully bring out the browns in this and make it look even more antique -y than it already is looking. I'm really happy with the way that it looks so far. Um, it looks really old and just almost like a piece of furniture you'd find in World Market, which is exactly what I was going for. So I'm going to apply this wax and see if it just kind of, you know, brings everything together and gives it that old look and finalizes the project. So let's do it. So here's the finished project. You can really tell where the brown wax like really went into the scratches and brought those out and kind of went into the wood and made it just look a lot more antique. Just kind of accentuated those scratch marks. This is my favorite side. Because I love the side of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the way that it turned out considering I've never done any of these things, whether it's waxing, distressing, um, chalk painting. This is my first time to try it. And that's actually why I love these projects is because I have like these random ideas come to my mind or I like see a piece of really, really expensive furniture from like World Market or like online somewhere that just really inspires me. You know, I get that idea planted and then I go start and um, you know, try to bring it to life. And it's always different than the idea that I originally had, but I think like that's what I love, is like seeing the way that my ideas come to life, if that makes sense. For my first project, on my first video for this channel, you know, it's not too bad. There's so many more great ideas to come, so let's be inspired together and be creative and just live our best dumpster diving life. If you're interested in lifestyle advice and wellness tips, you can check out my other YouTube channel. It's going to be Looking Through a Mirror. And also the hub of everything is lookingthroughamira.com, so make sure you check it out. I hope to see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me. Like I always say, love hard, be a light, and always have a little faith in your future. Until next time, guys, I'm Amira.